again, yeah, I think it's I think it's interesting. Two Hall of Famers, but very different coaching styles. They they both got to the same point, but in very different methods. I, I right. I'd love to hear like more of what you're what you're saying about when you look at Holtz and Spurrier. And again, you've been in locker rooms with both. What are the things that made Holtz so good at what he did, and what mm -hmm. made the things that made Spurrier so good at what he did, and how are they different? Because obviously they're very different. Like you said, I mean, sure. I think it's just common sense. You know, Holtz was very much like you said, old school, mm -hmm. hard nose, Spurrier laid back whatever yeah. it's, it's 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 all chill it's cool whatever yeah, like, you man know, you know but and i and i think that's the thing where you know in that detail-oriented aspect of learning from holtz compared to you know i i think even near the end holtz just tried to start putting his hands and everything where right. same thing Spurrier was more like all right yeah doing We're a bunch of two by two three by yeah. one you know coverages look like this all right you know <laughs> Y'all get to it. We're right. going to be in here in offense. Right. You know, right. and if, as things would get worse, then he would be right. more that, that, like, that. That kind of, like, reminds me of, like, 07 when uh, we went to Kentucky and he, <sighs> he pulled Ron Cooper. In the room. He's oh, like, y'all yeah. want to hear about the coverages? Yeah. I'm going to go get yeah. the guy. He's why, like, why I don't have anything to do with it. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, just <laughs> like. Unprecedented. Right. And, but, and even same stuff yeah. like that. And, you know, I think even – and even the psychological aspect with Holtz. I mean, yeah. like, Holtz would be like that. He's like, you know, don't listen to what I say. Don't listen mm. to what I'm putting in the paper. Mm. Oh, they're going to be us by three touchdowns. Yeah. We don't have a chance, you know, right. And right. just the guys motivating, knowing that they believe in themselves. And I mean, I think that's even the thing, even as seeing the Gamecock football team over the past four seasons, to me, man, I love playing the Williams Price, mm. but man, there wasn't not, nothing like going on the road. Yeah. Shoe and your boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Enemy yeah. territory. Road warriors. That's yeah. right. Like, yeah. like, you love hushing the road crowd. Oh, man. You, almost, you love the booze more than the cheers. And I didn't play. And I was a GA at the time. But, I I mean, I, when we beat Florida at Florida, win SEC East, yeah. watching the swamp empty yeah. with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, hadn't been too many occasions. Yeah. I don't think that people have been there there to absolutely witness that, yeah. where it was just like, oh I mean, gosh, I was I was there in uh, 07 at Sanford when you guys beat Georgia. Mm -hmm. I've never heard oh, a bunch yeah, of dogs man. so quiet. Oh, and, I, <laughs> and, that, I mean, and you know, that was the thing. that Even that game, man, like, because two years prior, that's when I hurt my knee the second time. So yeah. that just even meant that much more for me yeah. coming back, last year playing. And y'all played them close at 05. You're really close. Oh, yeah. We should have won Georgia the game. Georgia, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we should have won the game. And and that, and that's that's what's even crazy to me even when I think. I think out of all the years, even when I played and even coached, there was one year that Georgia absolutely, like, just dominated right. us. And that was, like, I think 03. Yeah. It was like was 30, David yeah, I think it was like 31 to seven Green was quarterback. Like that, yeah, yeah, they went to one of the yeah. uh BCS bowls. Yeah. Yeah, I think they were they were nasty. There. They were yeah, yeah they were sick. pretty good. Yeah, but and every, but every and even when I think we lost like 18 nothing to them here at home. Yeah. We had three opportunities, yeah. the ball inside the five yard line. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think I remember it was uh Blake scrambled to try to get any fumbled mm -hmm. it forward fumbled. and it said they said he couldn't recover his yep. or something. And, and fumbled on the I mean, yeah. fumbled on the snap on the goal line. Oh man, believe me, just yeah. my freshman one. Well, <laughs> I know there's a oh, replay man. in your mind, even more so. Well, and that's and, and that's what was crazy. That was the birth of Matthew Stafford, even where they owe six. Well, and the even birth of Matthew Stafford. Well, and even um that was the, my freshman year. Um, there was that was that was the birth of David Pollock. Yeah. I mean, like, and I don't know if you remember this, the birth of Thomas Davis, who recovered, oh, the, fumble, yeah. who recovered the fumble late in the game. No, man. I, I believe me. I, we, if, we started a there, lot of Georgia uh, if there short was, players' if careers. There, I remember, <laughs> well, I remember when Don Drell got hurt. Yeah. Um, I think that was the 04, I think it was 04 season at home. Yeah. That's when Don Drell hurt his shoulder. And the reason yeah, he yeah. got hurt is because they had Blue as one yeah. safety and Thomas Davis as the <laughs> other safety. And those dudes studs. came down. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, you talk when about the NFL veteran. Right. And they yeah. played linebacker <laughs> in the NFL, playing safety in the yeah. SEC. I mean, it was just came down hit. And I mean, I think that's even more the retrospect of like where my eyes even widen up, even with the competition, as much as seeing it as a recruit, as a fan wanting to play in that conference, then all of a sudden, I mean, my freshman year, Jason Witten was a junior at yeah. Tennessee. Uh Watson was tied in at Georgia. Mm uh heath miller was a freshman at virginia um who else yeah, those virginia there? teams were good man shaw oh, yeah, i mean man. you guys whipped the shaw. tail but oh well no you know, well no the was second time game, right? oh, three, oh, three, oh, three, oh, three. Saying, so yeah. oh two we went up there yeah, and that's yeah. the crazy part of oh, two we had five turnovers and yeah. still had the ball in the last play of the game yeah. try to run a tunnel screen drop yeah, I, I feel like it's crazy short. i feel like those uh, Bolts teams man the oh two oh three were just a cut like it was not like we were like just terrible no it was a couple of like 
You know, I mean, the you think O-line, O2 Georgia, so like those close losses. Just The O-line my freshman mm-hmm. year, I mean, I will still put that O-line up just of how talented they were, how skilled they were. It's just crazy. We, like you said, we right. just could not put it together. And, I mean, we would have, you know, Andrew Pinnock would have walked in across the goal line for a touchdown to win the ball game yeah. against Georgia in O2. Yeah. But if he, you watch that replay, it's just – it is right there. Beautifully executed. <laughs> beautifully executed. Yeah. You know, took his off. Oh, I mean, it's just <laughs> – Love Pinnock. Oh, yeah. man. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, and that's the thing. But And I, I, and it's even the yeah. same thing of even – um, you know, I think even somebody like show a highlight of like Jared. Yeah. When Jared oh, – when ja- he's, the, he's just remembered for Auburn. He's remembered right. for Auburn. And it's crazy All the that great people say that. And I'm like – Hold and he called now. a touchdown earlier in that game, but he's going like, for the drop, not the touchdown. Well, that's it. Yeah. You know, and, and again, he was a freshman. That's his first yeah. year playing. Yeah. First year playing as a freshman at tight end. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, I'm like, like you can't hang that over people's heads, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. You never want to be that guy in that scenario. Oh, um, hey, man. But, and that's, you know, honestly, I tell you, that's the thing that I'm probably, if there's anything I'm more thankful of, even when I played, that social media was not what it is yeah, nowadays, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, I, I was joking with, uh, who, uh, with uh, Rick Henry, you know, mm-hmm. the WIS. Sure. Right? When I had, but we were just talking about media and social media, and he was talking, we were talking Gamecocks in the 90s. I'm like, yeah, I'm glad Twitter wasn't around in 98, 99. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, know. yeah, it was bad enough. 